Hi Megan! It's been a really long week. And I don't know why, because we even had an early dismissal this week on Wednesday. And I just feel like it's been forever. I feel exhausted. We've kind of like reached that point in the school year where things are starting to get kind of stressful because I really, really want school to be over. And I'm really looking forward to summer because I'm just tired of school. And <laughs> But then at the same time, you can't forget about finals. And those are scary. I get really stressed out over like big tests. Standardized tests always stress me out, and then finals, I kind of think of those the same way. So I'm very torn. I want to be done with the school year. Even though it was a pretty good year. I mean, I enjoyed my classes way more than last year. Last year was... that's bad. Um, but I enjoyed this year, and I know next year is going to be stressful, but I just want it to be summer. <sighs> finals. Oh. I just hope that they're as simple as they were for the end of first semester because that wasn't very hard and if it's the same way, I'll be fine. <laughs> I've had this little project over the past like month where I've been like every day or whenever I have free time I kind of clean my room a little bit because my room is really really messy like everywhere. Like not my floor is messy but then my closet's unorganized and so is my desk and my dresser and my book cases and oh it's really bad and <laughs> so I'm trying to take it a little bit at a time in order to like get rid of stuff and find a way to keep things clean and not just throw them everywhere so that it appears clean on the outside. So now I'm trying to clean things out and I keep finding all this random junk that I never knew I had or don't need and, and it kind of feels refreshing to get rid of a lot of junk. I just want my room to be less cluttered and it's getting there. Well, not right now, but <laughs> I mean it doesn't appear good right now, but I'm trying. I also have another motive behind wanting to clean my room. A couple weeks ago I talked to my mom about how I've had these purple walls since I was in first grade. Oh, first grade. And I'm kind of sick of the color. I mean, I like purple, don't get me wrong, but when it's all you've been staring at for the past, let me count because it's a Friday. Okay, <laughs> first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, tenth. Ten years. Ten years I've had these walls. I'm sick of purple. So sick. Are you sick? The tiger is sick of purple. I talked to her and she said that I could possibly rearrange my room a little bit, paint the walls, maybe move stuff around if I can get rid of a lot of stuff. The only thing is I have to get rid of a lot of stuff. Like junk and clutter because it's really hard to like rearrange or repaint a room when there's things everywhere. I think I'm a borderline hoarder because I just keep almost everything. Like, you give me something and I'll probably keep it for like the next three years at least. And then I'll find it and throw it out if it has no attachment at all, but if it has even just a little bit, I will keep it again for the next three years. It will stay here. Like, I have cards, <laughs> birthday cards, from like years ago, like, since I was like 10. I just went through those the other day and <laughs> I got rid of them. I was so proud of myself because normally I cannot do that. But oh, another funny thing is I was going through the birthday cards. I stumbled upon a card from last year. I almost just like threw it out right there because it didn't really have much meaning or anything. I mean, there wasn't really anything written inside besides the name. And I'm lucky because I opened up the card and <laughs> I found a $15 iTunes gift card. I almost screamed with happiness because I had needed money and it was like a godsend and I said thank you. But <laughs> that was the highlight of my cleaning experience so far, finding that. That felt good. Really good.
I didn't notice that I am having a lot of trouble just like looking at the camera and it's because I can't stop looking at all the stuff around my room. <laughs> um, there's boxes and I can't even see the top of my desk right now. Actually my bed is pretty interesting to look at because I have a bunch of mismatched sweat mismatched sheets. Um can you wanna see? Look at that. Look at that. Look at <laughs> It's not even like what is this? I mean more normal sheets are like teal. Actually here they are. I just cleaned them. They smell good. So I'm just constantly checking out everything that's around my room. There's a lot to look at because everything that I own seems to be out. I kind of didn't have anything to talk about really. I mean all I've really been doing is softball, school, sleeping, eating, and cleaning. Trying to clean looking at all this stuff and saying I should clean my room right now but I don't think I'm going to so yeah that's been my life lately <laughs> not doing stuff I should be doing well I have nothing nothing else so I'm going to leave so I can clean I think I'll do that now I feel motivated I feel motivated oh oh one of the things I found while I was cleaning was this guy. I found him in my closet. I think I've had it since I was like three. This nice tiger that my grandma bought me at the zoo. And uh, what happened was <laughs> we went to go see the tigers and I was up against the glass, you know, and had my hand on it like kitty. And um, <laughs> one of the tigers came over and started rubbing its head like where I was standing where my hand was. Well, my dad said that he thinks it probably thought I looked like a nice snack, like it wanted to eat me, which is probably true, but <laughs> my grandma thought it was cool and cute, so she bought me this tiger, and I've always liked tigers ever since, and yeah, now I like tigers, and I also really like owls, but you know that. <laughs> A lot of people know that. Tigers and owls. They rock. Well, that's all for me, and I hope you enjoyed this, even though I didn't really say anything. But, yeah, I tried. So, adios, and I'll see you whenever I see you next. Can't wait for your video. Bye.